Yo, what's going on dudes and dudettes? In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about the things that I've learned after jumping rope for 10 years. All right guys, so first and foremost, uh, I wanted to make this video because I've basically been jumping rope for 10 years. I don't think I need to say this, but it's completely changed my entire life, my business life, personal life, everything, fitness, all that. So today I wanted to give you what I've learned in those 10 years. This isn't necessarily like the top 10 benefits of jumping rope or anything like that. This is just little things that I've picked up on and thought that um, it could maybe help you on your jump rope journey. There's many different reasons why people pick up a jump rope and all of those reasons should be celebrated. Some people do it for fitness, some people do it for speed, some for CrossFit, some for tricks, some for competition. There's no right way to jump rope. There's so many different styles and like I said, different reasons why people pick up a jump rope. I just first and foremost wanted to say, if you are picking up a jump rope, that's awesome in its own right. Even if you're doing just regular bounce or you're someone doing backflips with the jump rope, jump rope is just awesome in general. Another thing I've noticed, it just makes you feel way younger. I don't have any scientific explanation for this. I know people have talked about this, but just like jumping, think about what you're doing. You're just like jiggling every single bone and muscle in your body. And that has benefits. When you are someone who's working all day long at your computer for 20, 30, 40 years, you're sitting and gravity is just bringing your body down, keeping your muscles in the same state. When you jump rope, you're loosening up your entire body. You're letting your blood flow. Again, you're, you're separating your joints and letting all that bone marrow and stuff run through there. So my point to this is that the more you loosen up and warm your body, the more you use your body and use every muscle and bone in your body, the younger you are gonna feel. As you get older, you'll still feel younger. If you do not consistently keep up jumping rope and practicing and doing it a couple times a week, you are going to be more prone to injury. So what I mean by that is if you jump rope for only five minutes a day, but you do it every day, your body is going to start to be accustomed to that, your joints and muscles and all that, so you're going to get injured less. If you try to jump rope for one hour, really intensely once a month, that's how you injure yourself. I know that jump rope is something people think that little kids do at the playground. It's actually a pretty intensive workout, so my biggest advice to you guys, is if you pick up a jump rope, focus on being consistent with it and doing a little bit every day. Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to interrupt this YouTube video really quick and just make you all aware of JRD TV. JRD TV is an app that we just came out with that you get sent a new daily full length follow along video workout sent directly to your inbox every single day. There's a community feature where you get to post photos and interact with other people going through our programs and workouts. You get direct daily access to me, myself, Brandon, the whole Jump Rope Dudes team to just help you further along with your goals and things like that. This is basically the JRD VIP zone if you're looking to lose weight, get better at jumping rope, and overall just get more access to Brandon and myself. So check it out. It's linked up in the description below. Hope to see you guys in there. There's no ceiling to how good you can get at jump rope. Now this is bad because if you keep getting better at jump rope, your workouts are gonna keep getting harder. If you keep messing up less and less and less and you keep going faster and faster and faster, you're never gonna hit a point like, guys, I've been jumping rope for 10 years. I sweat profusely every single time I jump rope. There's no like, oh yeah, I've been doing it for a long time so my body's used to it. No, I just keep messing up less and less and I can keep going faster. Therefore, I just get really, really tired. The good part about that is obviously that doing all those things improves your endurance, um, improves the amount of calories you can burn. It just makes your body an overall more athletic and efficient machine. It makes you an incredible athlete. I've talked about this on this channel a lot, but I'm 33 and I just started surfing like two and a half years ago. I've been skateboarding for most of my life, but really just got back into it. My reaction time, my balance, my coordination has improved immensely from when I've been 25. I feel like I'm in the absolute best shape of my life and I 100% um, dedicate that to jumping rope. It's just something that when you're doing it, you have to focus, you have to be coordinated, you have to maintain your balance. So it's just a great tool for improving athleticism. I've also learned that whipping yourself hurts. And you know what? That's never gonna change. The more I jump rope, the more I whip myself. And honestly, the more I jump rope, the faster I get, the harder that it hurts to whip myself. So just get over the fact you're gonna have red marks on your back and all over your body. It's just part of jumping rope. It is by far the cheapest and best portable gym in the entire world. You can put it in your bag, take it literally anywhere you go. You can break it out in your hotel room. If you combine jump rope with some squats and some push-ups, 
and maybe a little bit of abs, you have yourself basically a little tiny gym workout in any country, state, anywhere you go. So it's really great for that. This one might sound kind of odd, but the community of people that jump rope are really kind and cool people. I gotta be honest, I'm sure there's some assholes out there, but for the most part, everyone in the community of jumping rope, people that do tricks, the people that do weight loss, the people that just do CrossFit, like all these different segments, Everyone's pretty awesome. Like when we go do meetups, it's really gratifying to see the jump rope community is just full of really kind people. I don't know if it's something about that sport that like attracts these types of people, but everyone's really friendly. I've seen nothing but people who are just really, really excited and pumped to be doing it together. Another thing I've learned, the general public still thinks it's pretty weird. Like if you think about jumping rope, I know a lot of people do it, and I know that millions of us are doing it on the internet, but I still, when I walk around, I might see one guy jumping rope outside over there, one girl jumping rope every now and again, but I don't see like massive groups of people doing it. So I think that's really cool because I still think that most of society doesn't understand how great of a, a fitness tool this can be and how much fun it can be. So hopefully as the years go on, we start to see just more random people you know, jumping rope in public. Learning a new trick is very rewarding. I say this to say that you should keep going. If you are struggling to progress, just keep going. Like everyone that you see that can do all these tricks, they were once there too, I was once there too. That's what makes jump rope fun. It never gets old because you can always learn something new. Another thing I've learned, you could do regular bounce and only regular bounce for the rest of your life and you're still going to get the same benefits as all, you know, every time you see us doing a workout with a bunch of crisscrosses and that, that's awesome. And I like to do those things for a different reason. But if you're just someone who just wants to do basic bounce and obtain the benefits that jumping rope has to offer, you can just do regular bounce and still get those benefits. Another thing I've learned is that if you're having a crappy day, the combination of jumping rope and music will definitely cheer you up. On the other hand, another thing that will calm you down and make you feel all zen-like is if you jump rope without any music at all. One thing I've been doing more recently is just jumping rope with no sound at all and really getting into that tune of, of skipping because it forces you to match every jump with every skip that, you, that the rope comes under your feet. And there is kind of a meditative aspect to that. By just doing that over and over again, you get into this little flow state that feels really nice. You could be 85 years old and jumping rope. You could be in your 90s. We have people that we've spoken to who are in their 80s and their 90s. We got videos of these people doing it. We also have videos of four and five year olds doing it and having a blast. So jump rope is ageless. There have not been enough studies to show or to prove this. Like if you look up what are the benefits of lifting weights, there's scientific proof that like when you lift weights, it shows you scientifically how your muscle mass grows and why it works. There's definitely something happening with heavy ropes and, and using them extensively and aggressively. And there just have not been enough studies to show what those benefits are. I know that people say, no, it's just cardio, you're just burning calories. And I can't back this up yet, but I know that there's some kind of muscular benefit that you get from swinging a two pound rope really, really fast. So I don't know how to conclude that statement. I'm just saying that there's something going on and I hope that scientists in the near future do more research on the benefits of jump rope. All right, guys, those are some of the things that I've learned um, in 10 years of jumping rope. It would be awesome if you guys commented below and just let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you feel some of those things or are experiencing them. And then also let me know different things that you're experiencing along your jump rope journey. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, give the video a like, and always remember to do the thing.